Hello, and welcome back to another development video. Today we'll be taking a look at a bit of a unique feature that I've added that I feel like is deserving of a mini story. In 2020, I had this idea of a game where you could switch hosts with different skills instead of a traditional RPG where you unlock new skills through leveling up. With this idea in mind, I began writing out all the things I wanted in this game, and I told myself that I would take nothing away from this list. I was committed to making a game and seeing it through, and one of the things I put on this list was, for whatever reason, customizable rooms. So, as many of you know, in each of the four worlds, there are six side quests that you can do, and the reward for one of these side quests in each of the four worlds, is unlocking your own customizable room. This may be, for example, a small little house on the outskirts of the city, which will be conveniently named the player's name, and then house. If I warp over there, you can see a little road that would lead off to the city, and then a little empty house. If I open up the menu, I have some options here to be able to place some walls, some furniture, and even some little nature spots, like if I want some flowers outside, I have that option. And this is all really fun, and places on a grid properly and everything, but it doesn't have a specific purpose yet. And I feel like the player should be rewarded with more than just a cosmetic play around with this empty area. So. Along the left-hand side, you can see other options that are grayed out. So beside the house, I have some garbage cans. And if I do the search, you can see there's certain items that I would need to be able to unlock the other furniture. So let's go and unlock the furniture linked to carrots and linked to coffee. And we'll walk back into the house and open it up. And I can now place coffee pots and potted carrots around the house. However, they're empty right now. And if I go and interact with it, it says I should check back later. I have it coded so that every three real-time minutes while the game is running, these items will refresh. This little bit of a code prevents you from just leaving and coming back to perpetually get items, and encourages you to kind of just stop by every now and then to get some free items so we'll fast forward time here, and now we can see the coffee pots are full, and the carrots are ready to be picked, and when I grab it, I'll have some randomly set amounts of additional carrots and additional coffee. Then the same dialog will appear to check back later. You can also add cats and dogs to your respective customizable rooms, adding a lot more fun to these areas and you can pick which breeds you want them to be. And of course, if you leave and come back, they'll, they'll stay there. It's a lot of fun. There will be certain players that will kind of just put all of the useful furniture right beside their portal to kind of warp between all four of the worlds, grab all their items, continue on. And there might be other people that really want to decorate their house. And I think both are fun and awesome. Each of these customizable rooms has their own unique feel to them, alongside having different furniture and items that you get, making it exciting when you unlock a new customizable room, rather than just, oh, I got this again, okay. <laughs> With this addition added, I cross off another feature that is on my list, bringing me one step closer to beta. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.